Doesn't look like either one of them take a took a mulligan. 80 cards in this food chain deck. Yep, that's a lot of broken stuff in there. <laughs> it looks really good. Uh, there's a lot of protection from, uh, let's see, we got six forces. Oh no, seven forces. Uh, seven? Where do you got seven? He's got three force of negations and four force of wills. Oh, I missed the force of negations. Cool. Yeah. Uh, funny enough. I had to scroll those... down. <laughs> <laughs> those, forces help, seconds, yeah, <laughs> those forces help him out with the Miss Hollow Griffins being able to ca recast them from exile whenever he gets the, uh, the food chain. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I, I always forget about that interaction until I'm actually sitting across the table from Leon. But being mm -hmm. able to force pitching your bird or griffin is pretty damn good. Yep. And then you just cast it later. So you didn't really go down a card. Exactly. Well, this is going to be an interesting matchup to see how well uh, or how fast Kaplan can get out there. Um, looks like he's setting up for a turn two explosion. But, Seems like it. Uh, yeah, I guess for Leon, um, Force of Will could potentially just become pay a life, reveal a card from your hand, <laughs> counter target spell. Right? For free. Exactly. Or, like, uh, I mean, at this point, huh, I wonder oh, if uh, he's going to be flashing in an Ice Fang Coatl just to, you know, prepare. Because that can at least handle some of the, the onslaught of the, the arc, uh, arc lights coming at him. That would do it, yeah. Uh, these, these matches tonight have been really difficult to predict, but... Yeah. Do you feel like Food Chain can handle this Phoenix deck? I think so. It's, I mean, I want to, if, if David wants to, like, try to get past this wall of counters and, like, really good answers, it's going to have to be, like, you know, blazing fast. And um, not having that Dark Ritual start is actually hurting him right here. Because uh, we'll see what happens, though. I mean, I think that's, I mean, uh-oh, did I freeze up? And we lost we lost uh, Leon just for a second, but Ice Fang comes down. Yep. But uh, yeah, we should. Uh, I think he's, as long as we can see like you know uh, Thoughtseize, Thoughtseize, or Thoughtseize Cabal Therapy, then uh, definitely going to be. We could see Leon in trouble to a fast start. All right, so this is some hand. I think Food Chain is the card that's going to be taken in the end here. But he's got Food Chain. I think an Ice Fang Ponder two Teferis. Is that right? Two Teferis, yeah. And, oh, no, uh, that's Hydro Crisis. Oh, that's a, well, that's he, he does have two Teferis, though. Yeah, maybe I said it wrong. Two Teferis, Hydro Crisis, Food Chain, Ponder, and the Plains. Yep. Hmm. Tube Rip says Yu-Gi-Oh! and Hearthstone fans tearing the country apart, but MTG fans are the silent majority. I don't know what that means, but... Sounds great. <laughs> yeah, we're unifying everybody. Cool. <laughs> Catherine loves the spice. Jube Ninja loves the spice. Phil Nguyen is here for the Griffins. That's the only reason he's here. They're living in exile right now. They'll be yep. back. Phil Nguyen's playing tomorrow. Did we mention him earlier? I think we forgot. Uh, I'm all over the place today. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I did. Did David pick a card yet, or is he still thinking? I think he's still thinking. I think he got to take Food Chain here. I think so. Like, it depends doesn't... on what's in his hand, I guess. Because if he has um, Cabal Therapy or something to follow this up, mm -hmm. it could be interesting. But either way, you take Food Chain, I feel. Because you could just Therapy away the Teferi. Yeah, I mean, he's probably concerned about that snake being in the way. Yeah. There you go. I mean, it'd be it'd be pretty broken to see a Cabal Therapy here next, but um, nope, Bob. So this could turn into a grindy match where I don't believe Dave is um, at all favored. Probably not. Yeah, there's just like the Okos, and then you have the. Have you actually had to deal with a resolved Hydrid Crisis? <laughs> I have. 
Um, there are crazy, ways right? to get around it. Yeah, but maybe not in Legacy. Yeah, it's uh. Let's put it's, it this way: people don't leave the house to go play Legacy. <laughs> oh well, yeah, I, I shouldn't even say that because nobody's leaving the house to play Legacy right now. Hopefully, but, um, <laughs> but uh, in the sense that you 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 build your deck to play some Legacy, you don't plan around Hydro Crisis. <laughs> <laughs> First time I encountered that card was uh, against a it was like a Simic Cloud Post deck that ran it, and all I had to defend myself was a Stifle. <laughs> yep. All right, so here's Cabal Therapy, which huh. he must have just drawn because he would have done that last turn if he had it. Well, he would have done it, yeah. That sucks for Kaplan. Maybe he uh, knew he had it on top. Yeah. And that's Oof. what he was thinking about. I don't remember if he cantrip before that. He takes ponder. Interesting. Yeah, he had a ponder before. Why no faithless looting in the Phoenix deck? Um, I think Jason Lewinell commented on that before, but I'll I'll try to remember to ask Kaplan after the game or Alux. Plus to ferry. The spicy emoji is getting used a lot, a lot tonight. I'll add some spice. <laughs> <laughs> I think the reason why he didn't go with uh, um, what's here, um, the faithful looting was because like he was trying to uh, maybe squeeze in cabal therapies. I don't think cabal therapy is a, a a main card that you would put into this deck normally. Recruiter of the guard comes down. What is he searching for here? I don't have a clue. On toughness, right? Yeah, jam those uh, spicy emojis. <laughs> maybe a. Walking Ballista, or uh, oh wait, uh, Watcher from t for tomorrow. Uh, is that what he got? Oh wait, did he get a Ice Vein Codal? Codal. Yeah, he must have got a Codal, and yeah. then I think his camera froze. Sorry about okay. that. All right, his camera went down again, but now it's back. Okay. So yeah, he got a Codal. Cabal therapy. Chat now discussing Grixis Phoenix lists. And jamming spi spicy emotes. <laughs> <laughs> we have a few more emotes coming hopefully this week. I'm looking forward to launching those, so to speak. Stay tuned. Any Hydro spoilers? Grixis get taken. Uh, spoilers. Hmm. No. Is it, is it another food <laughs> thing? Is it? <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just let it be a surprise. All right, sounds good. That's got right. some, got some <laughs> simple ones and a cool one. Three new emotes coming this week at some point. Nice. Spicy emote jammed again. So. Nice thing. This, I mean, if if uh, yeah, if Leon's gonna be taking uh, taking all these creatures and just like really controlling the game, it's not gonna be really good for for David in the in the, the next like few turns, especially if he can't do anything at uh, instant speed, protect himself. I don't even think he has any good instants, right? Not really. Brain yeah, he does. Does he have brainstorm? Yeah, he's brainstorm. Okay. By the way, I think if you um, subscribe on Twitch right now, you unlock a bunch of free emotes. Um, maybe somebody who's up to date on what's going on with that can fill everybody in. But yeah. Yuri on to hand and attack for one. 
Montolio's workshop is here. He says, Roland. What's up? What's up? <laughs> yo, yo. It's calling you out. That is Mr. Champion up north. He's our, uh, I, I forgot. What he's it's Montolio on MTGO. Yeah, he goes with a, a the different Twitter handle, but uh, he actually was showcasing a, a different look at workshops and vintage, I believe, last week. Pretty impressive build. Force of Phil, thanks for the sub. Two months. Getting some subs. Force of Phil, did you now unlock a bunch of emotes? I don't know what's going on with that. Got an email and I didn't read it. <laughs> <laughs> Buried alive. So he's going for the Arclight Phoenix thing here, but <clears throat> is it too late? Because like you know, we you block with the Ice Fang Caudals. Yeah. And how much life is Leon right now? I believe he's at 18. Yeah, he's. <laughs> it's uh, it's a uphill battle here to try to come up with that. Swinging in. So no fear for the phoenixes. Well, if Yorion's coming down. Oh, Yorion's coming back. down. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember like. Uh, at the last second, I'm like, oh, that's probably not the best. But, I mean, he gets to activate Teferi once again. Or not. I don't think he blinked it. No, not Teferi. Teferi is the one card with um, Urion decks you don't want to blink because then his ability turns off for a while. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because he's exiled until your end step. Oh, okay. Yeah. I made I that mistake like... early on with my Urion deck on, on Arena. Hmm. Brainstorm. Force of Phil saying he needs an emote of himself with the veto pose. Maybe. I have a few more emote spots for our bits um, leaders to pick up along the way. Maybe I'll, add, I'll try to add that at some point. So those little, uh, uh, let's see, the so spell counters is different from bits, right? Uh, yeah, the spell counter, like the channel points. Yeah. Yeah, and bits are the cheer gotcha. thing. Yeah, it's like a, the Twitch tipping whatever mechanism. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I used like 5,000 spell points at one point. Yeah. I think so. That was a vote for pre-modern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll probably get some more pre-modern soon. Um, I got to build a deck. What are you thinking about doing? I don't have a clue. What <laughs> would you play if you were me? Uh, probably Dread... Uh, at the Stifle Knot. Okay. It's one that, of these, like... You that's know, what you think I would play? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a good... Uh, you know, right around your alley of just tempo plus also control, and it has a really good control element. But uh, Esper, one that I just ran into, completely wrecked me in like 20 minutes. That's fair. But uh, yeah, I, I would agree with uh, ten, ten Siri, ten t Siri. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that uh, Suicide Black definitely one of my all-time favorites too. Uh, to be able to just crank out, you know, go. Uh, sorry, Derek. I didn't realize that was you. Uh, <laughs> just dark ritual into, you know, two 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 two, and suddenly you have like massive army. Yep. Hey, dark ritual. Dark ritual buried alive. Okay, so we're gonna see four phoenixes come out here, and I don't know what that does for Kaplan exactly. Besides, oh, he gets cabal therapy. Okay. So just trying to. Oh wait, so there are phoenixes already. All three are in the graveyard, and then you got the fourth. Yeah. Okay, I see what he's doing. So he's putting all four phoenixes in play, potentially. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see. 
Let's see what he does. Because I don't really know where this is going, to be completely honest. I mean, the the arc lights get blinked by the Yorion already. It's just a big wall. Yeah, and the Ice Fangs are happy to block. Yeah, that doesn't seem like that's the right plan for... <clears throat> I mean, maybe that's just the thing that the only thing that he can do right now is just try to swing through this wall of massive dudes. Or maybe he's going to play defense? Could also do that. Just not but swing. Defending into what, though? I'm looking at his list. It's just like... Yeah, you're just, just playing deal inevitable. defense yeah. to an inevitable loss. Yeah. I mean, a Pyroblast to perhaps take care of the, uh, the Yorion in a way. But, I mean, I think... In this case, David probably gassed himself. Like, I'm guessing he's hellbent by now. It seems like he would be, uh... Swinging with four phoenixes. Well, maybe this is like, you have to try. Maybe he's attacking Teferi? Would you attack Teferi here? Does that even... Does Teferi even matter right now? Teferi doesn't die. Three blockers already in the air. Yeah. Oh, Leon thinking about this. Blocking with all three creatures, it appears. <clears throat> and Teferi, yeah, he attacked Teferi. All right. Took down two Ice Fang Coattles. Maybe Kaplan figuring now without the Ice Fang Coattles, Yurion can attack. And eventually, <clears throat> eventually, he can um, get through. Right. Cabal Therapy resolves here. Oh, that is a stacked hand. Oof. So he must have named Source Supply Shares. Okay. Watcher for tomorrow. Another recruiter to ferry. Brainstorm. Yikes. <laughs> this hand right here just like shows how powerful this deck is right now. Does it, the, the food chains that exist in this deck are like inconsequential. You don't really kind need of, them yeah. at all. That's Eternal Scourge, by the way, the third card, right? Right, yeah. Was that four mana for a 3-3? Three, three? three mana. Three mana three for mana. a 3-3. Three, three. Right, three, three. Gets targeted, gets exiled, and can cast it from exile. Right. Yeah, I love uh, Leon's Watcher for Tomorrow tech. When he first brought that out against us, we were like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. That was and... back before we had open deck list, too. Yep. But watching him play it, he's he's figured out a way to you know be able to use the card very, um, very effectively, and just yep. get that card advantage. Yep. I think I would characterize uh, Leon's play to be a little bit more on the defensive side, so that he can set up a, a like a larger, uh, larger kill, and when it gets to that that uh, food train food chain kill, it it's usually like explosive, just kill you in one shot. Absolutely. Tutor up, walking ballista. Yep. He has walking ballista, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or Hydra Crisis, I guess, could draw 30 <laughs> cards or whatever. And gain him 30 life. Yeah. Yep. Another card in his in his toolbox that he's uh, put in a lot of work with on our streams is uh, Venser. Oh, that's right. Remember that one... Uh, match he had in the finals against Jason on depths and mm -hmm. he just kept bouncing Marit Lages and and stuff like that. That was that was pretty cool. Yeah, Venser was doing all the work there. It was so yeah. good. I think Venser I mean I think Leon beat Jason when he became the champion. Leon, the former champion of NYC Eternal. I think so. Yeah, I think so. We've had four champions so far, at least during streaming days, right? David I Tao, think, yeah. Jason Murray, Alan Yee, and Leon Chang are the only ones that took it right. down. It's extremely hard to do. I dream yeah. about becoming a champion again. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard. You guys like make it extremely hard with the. It's it's just the the field is difficult, and uh, you know, I I think. If anything, it's like making me sharp throughout this pandemic, at least, like keeping me sharp. Yeah. And uh, that's what I appreciate most about like being able to jam um, on webcam magic. 
I mean, at least be able to test out those theoretical decks that, I mean, I, I still consider Grixis Delver to be still pretty theoretical. It's not great, but it still can win. Yeah. Oh, here's Uro. I'm sure, I'm sure um, Kaplan is thrilled. <laughs> what other singleton type of things could happen here? I know, right? So much stuff. Uh, there's a lot of blockers that he could just cast. Uh, Mistform was a, the Mist Holographins. Those could block the, uh, the three twos as well. Yep. So Yurion and Recruit of the Guard on defense. I don't even remember at this point if he cast. No, he didn't cast Recruit that turn. But he didn't attack with it, which is interesting. Let's try to keep him all around, I guess. Maybe he's afraid of another big big swing to kill off his uh, Teferi. But he has a second one in hand, so surprised. Yep. All right. So David's trying the the wide route. <laughs> yep. Now that the that air might route be the better route. plan, actually. Yeah. Well, so, hmm, I don't know. Maybe not. With Euro out there as well. All right, so a force on that. So that's probably yeah. not happening. Nope, not happening there. Yeah, I don't see David actually getting out of this little semi-lock. But no, it's uh, going into game two at least. We would see um, there's no abrupt decays, but there's some number of like oh, there's like a fourth swords that would come in. Uh, in uh, in uh, Leon's side to come in against. Um, oh yeah, out of the sideboard. Yeah, yeah. he also I would... has containment priest. Yeah, and rest then in peace. Supreme verdict to keep everything under control again once I go to turn four. Yeah. He's got some nasty treats in store. Yeah, he's ready for the graveyard battle, but... <clears throat> Graffigure's Cage as well. Yeah, if David sees all that, he's probably going to go on the land as opposed to graveyard side. Maybe. Let's see. I mean, Riding Registrar also not great here, considering he has Icefang Coattles. Oh, yeah. That he can just tutor for. <laughs> Yeah, there's no good way to get rid of the Quaddles except for Pyroblast here, a Braid, Fatal Push, because Engineered Explosives. Oh wait, Liliana. So that I could. I guess Liliana could be good. Yeah. Yeah, it, it it could potentially be just you know strictly try to keep everything control, um, any of those things. But the 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 trick with our it's unfortunate like the Quaddles actually also have flash so it's like really hard to just time that Liliana correctly all right a recruit of the guard fetches another ice fang coaddle here <laughs> are we gonna see Yurion start swinging away here ah uh, perhaps and there's only one flyer right now so wow he does not attack he passes the turn <laughs> Oh, he attacked. Okay. He attacked after his turn ended, apparently. Oh, wait. His camera went off for a sec. There we go. He probably verbally said he attacked. Yeah. Dark Ritual. Thossies. Okay. All the Phoenixes come back. I think he takes Coatl here. Yeah, you got to take Coatl there force Leon to tap out once again. Is it worth thinking about taking Scourge because it, it's part of the combo? But I, I think know. in this exact situation, Ice Fang Coatl probably be better. I think you take the the Coatl out because the it doesn't seem like he's going to go after the, the Food Chain route any, anytime soon, especially with an Uro out there to really cap him. Okay, so some kind of miscommunication, but now Recruit of the Guard ended up being the card that was taken, not Coatl. Oh, so Twaddle and Scourge still in Leon's hand. Okay. All right. Four. Birds are back. Birds are back. Wait, what did he cast? He cast Ritual. Oh, Thoughtseize. And then... Preordain in the, in the beginning of that. Oh, Preordain. Okay. Yeah. The Phoenix has disappeared for some reason. <laughs> okay, they're back. <laughs> 
attack, block with Urion. Is he attacking Teferi? Seems weird to attack Teferi here. But, okay. I mean, he's, he's he got to fight. The opponent. Putting Leon at, I believe, 13. There's an Uro in play, though. A Urion in play. Kaplan at less than 10 life. Don't see how this ends well. Yeah, he could just swing in for the kill on the, the crackback. Yeah, the crackback is real. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's no play that uh, I could see happening here. No. Just, just an untapped underground. Combat. All Scoop. Right. Scoop. It was actually kind of nice out today. It was like kind of cooler. Like the heat, the the heat broke finally in New York. Yeah, yeah. It was a little cooler over the weekend. I uh, went out to. <laughs> Jupiter just says, "Haha!" Outside, <laughs> I went out to um, Ringwood, New Jersey, and below me here you can see a, a picture I took with my drone. <laughs> That's out in New Jersey. Yeah. I was over the weekend. Oh, that that's your picture? Nice. Yeah, I took that over the Very weekend. Cool. I miss the outside. Yeah, really. Yeah, I went hiking, um, flew my drone around. It's, it's been a while. I was rusty. Did you crash into anything? No. <laughs> that's good. I don't crash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've never flown one of those things, but they look so cool. Yeah, it's fun. Cause it, like it when it's like moving around, it seems like very accurate, right? It's not. It's it's almost like a computer program of a grid, and you're you got your X Y Z coordinates. Yeah, you know, like flying a drone is a lot like playing a video game, where you're let's say you, you know, driving a car or something. Mm -hmm. But the only difference is, you have to be careful. Because in the video game, if you crash, nothing happens. <laughs> yep. But in real life, you actually can break stuff and hurt people. So, <laughs> well, that's how that's how I feel every single time I drive a car. I mean, you know, I just yeah, can't lose. Yeah, that's yeah. True, Once yeah. I lose, I lose like <laughs> big time. So yeah. But it's just so similar because you just have like the little controller in your hand, the joysticks, right? You have shoulder buttons. Um. Yeah, definitely playing video games over the course of my life has made me a better drone pilot. Put it that way. Yeah, don't play GTA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. All right, still resolving a first turn ponder here. Pedal. All right, does he go off? Oh, wait. No, it is just only a pedal pass. Yep. Anybody in chat like drones, make yourself known. I like maybe some control cars. Maybe, yeah. I wonder if the, how much overlap there is in the drone community. I have not met any other professional drone pilots that play Magic that I know of. So you are a professional drone pilot? I consider myself one, yes. I mean, in the sense that I get hired to, to fly drones, then yes, right? Yeah, if you get paid for it, I think that's <laughs> <a professional. laughs> Yeah, I guess that makes me a professional drone pilot. Yep. I don't like... Like, if I had an office, I wouldn't put that on my placard. <laughs> you know, that's a little weird. The PDP. Yeah. Oh, well, this yeah. is an interesting one. At least we're not going to see the board wiped out the same way, right? There's no Dread of Winter? Dead of Winter? Yeah, no Dread of Winter. No Dead of Winters. Yeah, for sure. If someone pays me to do it, I am a professional. This is true. Yeah. There is the Supreme Verdict. I don't know how many, but I think... I have this gut feeling that David went the, the land route and not trying to get anything from the yard. Probably. Yeah. Because he could just, like... Well, he probably would have cracked that Lotus Petal... Just to like get like a duress effect out there. Yep. 
trigger. No, yeah, I was I, I was just playing before, but um, I am a professional drone pilot. <laughs> I think you told me about your drones before. They're like a few hundred pounds, or maybe a hundred pounds. No, not that heavy. But not that heavy. Um, no. Oh, it's the like the other types of professional ones that are like uh, those can get pretty heavy too, right? Yeah, some some drones could get really heavy. Yeah, but. Uh, swords on pyromancer here yeah back when um things were n more normal mm -hmm. i i operated drones on tv sets movie sets sports stuff like that in case anyone was wondering based on what i was saying any movies that we've seen movies that we've seen i don't think so most stuff most stuff for me was tv commercials a lot of tv commercials nice I feel like a lot of car commercials could probably use drones like oh yeah they all, they all use it now yeah car commercials a lot of documentary films mm -hmm. use it and um i also shoot a lot of stock footage ah nice well um working with the designers all the time they definitely need stock footage oh, yep poor dread horde didn't get get in in play so manipulate fate hits um miss hollow miss hollow eternal scourge pretty good yep Maybe we'll see the food chain kill this time. Yeah, this is getting good. I could stop talking about other stuff now and focus on this game. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with uh, David's plan. If he if he's trying to go the route of just going on land, it, he's he's not going to be able to keep up with what uh, uh, with what Leon's doing here because it's just like it's way too fast, and there's there's no counter suite either. So <laughs> yeah. It's pretty rough. Unless uh, if uh, I haven't seen any Thoughtseize effects, right? No Thoughtseize. No. Not this game. Not this game yet. Yeah, Leon has to hit his third land drop. If he, it doesn't look like he hit his third land drop. No. If he's stuck there, it could be problematic. Preordain. This, there are no phoenixes in the yard at the moment, right? No. Mm -mm. This is one of these situations that, like, I really love. Still playing with Young Pyromancer. <clears throat> it can yeah, just I love that card. Put so much extra pressure each turn, and it just before you remember like to take care of the young pyro it's already got like two or three extra tokens out there and then that's additional stuff that you have to take care of jeremy's here he says go leon malfi's wondering about the list you can check cardboard live overlay for the list it's a uh mostly bant i believe if not all bant i think it was all bant <clears throat> i don't remember if there was like an odd splash card but yeah bant yep just a uh, white, blue, green. <clears throat> we saw five color last round. Shark, Sharknado, yeah. Nato five color, yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> Three food chains. <laughs> Three food chains, two ice fangs, or is that a hydroid crisis? All right, so ice fang gets taken here. Oko is in hand. Only two lands in play though, and no lands in hand for for Leon. So maybe Kaplan in a good spot. Yeah, he Maybe. gets to untap. Yep. He has five power. It's not the worst. Five power. So missing is... land drop is bad yep. for Leon. I think he missed uh, two land drops now. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, just one land drop, right? Or was it two? Uh, I think this was two, yeah. Yeah. He's going to start taking away is... probably another food chain here. All right, we're going to see a scoop. Wow. All right, cool. so we're going to game three. The bird. And the other bird. There we go. <laughs> it's just me and you. Yeah. Oh, Jeremy joined in. What's up, Jeremy? 
Spitz leader Jeremy's here. <laughs> All right, Eshelab. Dream start. <laughs> he says this ain't spice. This is Leon's normal deck. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it's weird because like to us it doesn't even feel spice because we've seen it so many times, but <laughs> it I is mean, spice. Is, is he really on Yorion most of the time, or is he just uh, adding in twenty extra cards? <laughs> yeah, I guess not the Yorion part, right? Yeah, at least not when when we last played him. All right, yeah, Leon, Leon's a spicy dude. That's fair. All right, let's see what um, Kaplan's start is here. Maybe a Thoughtsies? I don't think a Coria was even out when we last jammed at the shop, Jeremy. It wasn't out yet. Puridane. Yeah, Coria was not. We were still uh, locked down. Yeah. We started streaming in mid-April, and so how many months does that make it now? Like approximately four months of streaming. Oh, Roland cut out for a moment. You there, Roland? Dark Ritual. All right, Roland should be back now. Hey, what's up? Yep. All right. <laughs> I think I got disconnected. <laughs> it's all good. It's that dial up. Yep. Um, I was saying we started playing. Wait, what was I saying? We started playing on stream in mid-April, was it? I think so. Um, I think the first time that I saw um, David Tao and Jeremy. Um, streaming their own that was probably like end of march and I was, I was very intrigued by it i think early april is when i um, got my webcam and that was when uh just you know everything everything was starting to click and <laughs> trying to figure out a way to stay sane and play play some magic yeah seriously there was like that week or two where we were like Oh, maybe in a week or two we'll be back to normal and play again, but <laughs> just never. <laughs> yeah, sure. A week or two turned into a month or two. Turned yeah. into <laughs> four months, now five missed. months. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the, the last time I played at the shop with you guys? I mean, I don't remember who exactly was there, but I think you were there. Mm -hmm. It was mid-March. It was like first week of March, maybe? Yep. I think that might have been right before... I think so I, I think, did a quick trip, and then I came back. Uh, but it was it was sadly ironic. There was like this uh, board uh, board game in the <laughs> in the window. It was called Pandemic. Oh yeah. It was just a it was a sign of things to come. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. Swords on Paramancer. Okay. All right, good start for Leon, too. Another Swords. Ouch. <sighs> After the Ice Vein Coatl, it's just insulting. Yeah. All I right. think Leon's going to hit his third land in this game. Yeah, I think so. And even if he doesn't for a couple of turns, I think he's in good shape. Mm -hmm. Well... David kept in his Dark Ritual, so I think that <clears throat> signals to me that he's probably still going to uh, have the, the Phoenix package in here. Which is not a bad thing right now. I mean, if if uh, Leon's stumbling on his mana base, we could see a Dark Ritual into uh, Buried Alive type thing going on here. Let's see. Brainstorm. Powerful card. This is true. I don't know. I just got to check a message.
Make sure I don't miss anything. Fetch, okay. It's a good sign. Must see he probably cleared up his hand a little bit. Yep. From what I can see of of Leon's hand, it seems like he has a full grip though. So if there are any shenanigans that are gonna happen. Oh, alright, protection. Thoughts he's see what's going on in Leon's hand. To manipulate fates, force negation, and supreme verdict. Pretty good. It's probably got to take the force. Think so? Yeah. Manipulate fate, I guess, is redundant. Not worth it to take that. Supreme verdict. You fight that battle another time. Force, maybe? I think force. I'm not sure. Because the force will still help getting the. Uh... Oh wait, those are manipulate fates, not missed hollow griffins. Yeah, uh, those are manipulate fates. I think like. Uh... Oh, went with the force. All right, went with the force. Yeah, I think that manip makes sense. Manipulate fate doesn't necessarily do anything to forward his pro um, his strategy right now. Yep, manipulate fate. Cast here, so he didn't have the third land, right? He had, he now had. Two manipulate fates and oh my god, I forgot already. Two manipulate fates and supreme verdict. Supreme verdict, yep. So I don't know what that means really, but I think he's got a top deck of land now, and yeah. uh, hope that David's not going to go wide with another. Yeah, it's going to have to be a couple more lands. Uh, probably to clear the board, but I mean, he wants to be able to food chain here, and uh, there's a lot of cards in that deck <laughs> he has to navigate through if there's no tutors. Yep. Alright, so three cards exiled. Yep. Yep, found it. <laughs> Did find it. Alright, EOT buried alive. Oh, wait, is that sorcery? No, uh, it's a sorcery, yeah. That must a be sorcery. Case. <laughs> yeah. Phoenix, Phoenix. That'd be way too good. Great. Triple and two. Sideboard. No. Okay. Sorcery? Yeah. Yep. Well, it seems to be okay for now. And if, uh, let's see, even if, if if David's able to get those guys in, maybe lose a turn due to uh, Supreme Verdict coming down, you can still get it back pretty easily and swing through that Icewing Caudle. I mean, it's a lot of resources to, to get those phoenixes to come back it's not like he has metamorphose or something that replaces itself yeah he really Seems needed that rough. optic stick <laughs> yeah all right there we got the fourth uh fourth land fourth land and another astrolab so he can pretty much cast everything in his deck right now yep he can flashback oro he can do anything yeah, he must i wonder if he'll bring yuri on to hand right now or if he'll do something else it might be worth it for him to get Yorion in hand so that he has another blue card for a potential force if he gets it. Yep. What do you think of timing right now for a round four? 
Oh, <laughs> it's almost 11? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm up for it, but uh, if we play against uh, Leon's grindy deck, we might be here till like, 1. <laughs> yeah. I think we'll scrap it. All right. No worries. All right. I do like our uh, my matches against Leon, you know. It's uh, still very technical, but he's trying to attack at different angles, and um, you have to really try to read what his plays are. And a lot of the times, uh, I think his decks have been reliant upon just the top deck, so it's really hard to just like answer all of the the angles that he's getting getting at you. Yeah, what's cool about his deck is. Um, and we've talked about this in multiple times on stream before when Leon was playing. Mm -hmm. If you're not familiar with his deck, it's very hard to play against. Like, if you're not used to playing against these food chain decks, like, in a way, we're all good at playing against his deck because we're familiar with it. But he's gone to events and won like crazy just because people didn't even know what they were supposed to be doing. <laughs> Am I supposed to kill food chain? Going on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My sword's another Miss Hollow Griffin. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, less experienced legacy players are the once in a while um, event kind of people. They, they don't really um, they don't really know how to fight it. Which, which is an advantage for Leon. Yeah, for sure. Malfi yep. says he came back to Magic playing with Cosmo. <laughs> Cosmo Quack. Yep. Good old Quack, Cosmo. That's another thing. I played against Leon on Food Chain, and I played against Cosmo on Food Chain all the time over the last couple of years. So <laughs> I became a Food Chain fighter. So you're a Food Chain, anti Food Chain pro. Yeah, I'm an anti Food Chain pro. Side says, Do you know how I beat Food Chain? I don't let them untap with enough mana to cast Food Chain. That's, That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good plan. Thoughts is what's he gonna get up? Probably the Supreme Verdict, right? Ice Fang? Oh, he's he's probably gonna He's got an Ice Fang here? Pyroblast on the Ooh. Ice Fang, okay. I like that. Alright. So this Thought Seize is likely gonna resolve here. Yep. Take Supreme that. Supreme Verdict and Manipulate Fate. And that makes perfect sense because Manipulate Fate is redundant at this point. It's just mm -hmm. basically a <clears throat> pay two cycle. <laughs> yep. So that's why I didn't Yori on there. That yep. makes sense. Swing for nine. Ice Fang blocks, I guess. I think so. All right, takes nine. Oh, he didn't block. Ten. No, he did not block. Well, if well, I think you was, yeah, was setting up for probably a potential cantrip into a food chain, I think that's what it was. Yeah, um, Black is saying top the food chain. I think that's Leon's plan here. Get yeah. a food chain, drop it, start the start the infinite mana shenanigans. Sure. Get Yuri on to hand. Can do a whole bunch of funny stuff once you get the food chain online. Leon thinking here. Mm -hmm. I believe he's at ten. Fetch, go to 9, so now he's in range if he doesn't block or can't block for whatever reason. Yeah, this is... Well, he doesn't block... Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's probably going to have swords if he doesn't block there. But he needs that uh, quaddle just to, to stay out there so he can start chaining up into Eternal Scourge. Yeah. That would be the play. What is this for four? Ooh. Crisis on two. Okay. All right. Draw two cards, gain two life. Draw one card, I thought. One card? Wait. I thought it's half. Didn't it oh, look like half. you draw two cards? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that card works. Let's see. It looked like he drew two cards. I think he had one in in hand still, and it was the uh, manipulate fate. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he drew two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's check in with the players. He's got flying. Yeah. Hey, how many cards did you draw from Crisis? Just one. Oh, just one. Okay. 
Yeah. We thought we, thought we saw you draw two. Okay, cool. All right, so we just drew one. Yep. The man fate's in there. All right, so oh, right. does okay. Crisis also blocks? So yep. that would potentially bring him down a little bit. Yep. Oh, did I mess up life totals? I think so. I was looking at it. Leon, it was, at, strange. Leon was at 10, right? Uh, he was at 9 after he fetched. Okay, so now he should be up to 11. Yeah, he gained a couple oh, no. of life. Or um, is it just half 10. that? <laughs> he he gains half, or draws yeah, half, half. half. Okay. I should read that card sometime. Malfi says he should be at 11. I'm just going to ask them what their life is. Okay. Life total checks for you guys? I'm at 10. I believe David's at 17. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Thanks. So he does gain two? Yeah, he gains one. I was right. He's at 10. Yeah, you gain half life, draw half cards. Right. Okay, so it is right. So he was at 10. Got it. Yep. <clears throat> All right. So... Hmm. I wonder if David's considering just sitting back. No, he, he can't. I don't think he's he got can to afford to. I think he's got a jam. Yeah, yeah he's got a even jam. Even if he loses the Phoenixes. And then potentially put down another threat. If he gets a bob down, that's like... That would be that pretty would good. A lot. Yeah. All right, All right, jamming. I think he could potentially take. He could potentially take like uh, six here, right? Block one of those. I think it's safe too. Yeah. Yep. All right, he blocks one with the. It appears the crisis. It takes six, and there's Bob. Okay. Wow. Calling future plays. Yep. <laughs> Let's see. So, did you see how many cards uh, David had? I think he had like one or two. Uh, I did not, no. Yeah. That might... If he's able to somehow come over top but it doesn't recruiter's look like pretty good here yeah recruiter's getting what recruiter get here ice fang another ice fang nice pretty good i guess um confidant can't really hit anything big right there's no high casting cost cards other than phoenix no hmm I think it's just the Phoenix. Yep. Yeah. It's pretty good. All right. All right. Confidant trigger. Oh, this is the Phoenix. Oh. <laughs> That's uh, funny. Uh, do you... <laughs> Thanks. Fetch go to 12. <laughs> it was, the... was that the one of Phoenix that was still left in the deck? <laughs> it seems like it, yeah. Yeah. Happens. Draw from that. Oh, he's Cast playing the it. Phoenix. Okay. So that was the good thing. <laughs> and well, does he jam? I think he just yeah. jams. Yeah. And uh oh, what's happening here? Oh, Cast oh, Cast a Koala. We knew about that. Yeah. Can he kiss? Uh -huh. Yeah, he has a, yeah, the Astral Lab. Yeah. Ac yeah, you can activate with it. Yeah, That's Block how two. little I've played Astral Lab, you can actually activate with just one colorless instead of snow. Ah. So he blocks two phoenixes and... Oh, and well, he had bomb. no choice too, yeah. Yeah, he and had to. Get him down to one. Get him down to one. 
And... You know he has manipulate fate in hand. He's probably like... Oh, I wonder if he's... If he's got it. <laughs> I mean, the phoenixes have definitely cut his resources. Manipulate fate, cast here. Basically just a cycle. Thin the deck. Right, he can cast uh, Mist Hollow Griffin from exile to block too. That's so true. he might just be on that path. That's true. To like stall a little bit more, so... And might dig him out of this hole. If uh, David can't find, you know, another way to just get more Arclight Phoenix is back. Alright, so we cast a Miss Hollow Griffin. Yep. That's a Miss Hollow Griffin there. Alright, Ponder. If he manages to cast three spells, Leon's in trouble. Yep. And it looks like there's some, uh, <laughs> there's a few different spells in there. If there's another second cantrip into another spell, that's got to be number one, two, three. Yeah. Brainstorm? I think I saw a Pyroblast. Yep, there you go. Yeah, Pyroblast wins it, right? Yep. All right. Well, we did not expect that outcome. Let's Huge. check in with the players. What was the question we were going to ask Kaplan before I do? <laughs> 